Are you ready? Are you ready? Wait for it. Look for it. It's there. Are you ready to soar? Are you ready to explore? Are you ready to live your life the way it's meant to be lived? Let's reach new heights. Let's climb that mountain together. You can do it. Come on. Join me on a yogi venture. Welcome to Yogi Venture, Chatty with Tracy Wolf. I'm your host. I did it. <laughs> Started this podcast because I wanted to share a few inspirational stories based on people that I've met or who've influenced my life. Life can get really hard sometimes, but if you hear someone's story about getting over failure, pursuing a dream, or making a change, it helps to know that you're not alone. Well, at least that's what I found to be helpful. And I think you will too. Life can be messy. And social media highlights the finished product or the pretty picture. I want to know how you get through the difficult parts. You know, how do you keep moving forward and with a positive attitude? <laughs> so I'm a work in progress. And so is this podcast. This is number one. I can just imagine how much more professional it's going to be by the time I get to number 20. <laughs> so bear with me. I hope you'll stick with me. I hope you'll be on this journey with me. I like exploring life. I enjoy trying new things, taking myself out of my comfort zone. Hey, in fact, did you know that your brain improves when you are challenged, when you try new things. So I'm a firm believer that trying new things and stepping out of your comfort zone brings growth. That's kind of how this whole podcasting thing came about. And let me start by saying, anyone that tells you starting a podcast is easy, they're not telling the truth. Maybe it's just me. I do have some technology issues. The main thing is I get bored sitting around trying to learn how to work with technology. I don't like to read directions. <laughs> but I appreciate technology. But I just don't want to have to sit and learn it. I just want to be able to turn it on and work with it. <laughs> anyway, so I, I took a class in how to podcast. That helped a little bit. But um, it actually helped a lot because I would not have known where to start. I don't know any podcasters, so I couldn't ask anybody. So it's kind of been a trial and error, which is, I'm okay with it. Just takes a little bit longer. My next struggle was trying to find out what I wanted to talk about. And the beauty of podcasting is you can talk about anything, provided I guess there's an audience for <laughs> what I have to say. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. So I decided that I share what keeps me exploring life. You know, people hire coaches to help them discover what they're passionate about. I've always listened to that voice deep in me for the answer. And then I'd either decide to act on it or not. I'd look at life with curiosity. You know, they say curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction bought him back. <laughs> I have strong self-observation without judgment skills. So I use those as a guide to point me in the right direction. All right, so anyway, this podcast is sort of a test for me because I have some bigger plans ahead and I kind of needed to see if I could s just do this. And I did. Are you listening? If you are, yay! It's one, one hurdle down. I like to listen to podcasts. I kind of uh, 
discovered them about a, I don't know, about a year and a half ago. But it really wasn't until a few months ago that I wanted to launch my own. I had a couple of ideas floating around and I was trying to get a group together. I was trying to find, you know, like another partner. And then something just said, just do it. Just do it yourself. And so I stepped up to the challenge. Yay, yay. Here we are. I plan to produce a show twice a month to start with. I don't want to overcommit. It would be great if I could say weekly, but I plan to have guests and that's, it's going to end up being a logistical nightmare if I were to try to do this weekly. So let's just start off with twice a month. I hope I don't lose you. I don't even know if anybody's going to listen and that's okay. I'm doing this and I'll just see what happens. But twice a month, that's what the goal is. Some of you might know how the name Yogi Venture started and others might not. So Yogi Venture started by me combining my love of hiking and being outside in nature with the philosophies of yoga. The quiet times in the natural environment forced my mind to wander, to explore my thoughts. I was kind of having a love affair with nature. So I decided to become a certified yoga teacher at Kripalu School of Yoga and Health in Massachusetts. That was a, it was a fun, it was stressful, fun, boy, take talk about stepping out of your comfort zone. Quite intense, but it was good. Anyway, Kripalu reinforced my self-observation skills. And in the end, I ended up leading yoga adventures. It was fun. I met many interesting people. But the biggest discovery was that I, I liked organizing and, and planning and meeting new people and bringing people together. My best trip was a cross-country skiing and yoga retreat that I hosted. Oh man, I, I was up against so many obstacles while planning that trip, gathering the, it was just hard. Uh, but on, on top of that, you know, I couldn't guarantee snow for the skiers, <laughs> but I needed them to commit financially so that I could keep the house. The, the facility, it had a clause about the required number of people in order to use the house and if I didn't meet that required number, then there was a possibility that I'd have to return all the money and just, oh, it was just, just it, was a, it was quite frustrating. Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I got my people and we even got snow. It was incredible. Um, it was really just incredible. It was the perfect weekend. All the anxiety ended up being worth it. In fact, so much so, I ended up committing again to a spring yoga and hiking retreat, and um, it rained. <laughs> you know, it's it's hard when you have to be the host, and you're up against things that you have no control over. I could only control the food, which ended up being delicious, and the uh you know, the accommodations were quaint and rustic, but I could not control the weather. And cross-country skiing needs snow, and hiking is best in beautiful weather. You can do it in the rain. You can do it in, you can hike year-round. But anyway, uh, I think one of the highlights of the spring retreat was I would take um, them out on night hikes, and uh, there were these loud frogs and I don't know the name of the frog because they didn't croak like, you know, the regular frogs that you're thinking of. These frogs had almost like a whistle sound. So it made the night hike magical in a sense. As much as I enjoyed planning retreats, I could not figure out how to market it without quadrupling my fee. So 
I had to kind of reevaluate where and what I was going to do with Yogi Venture. So I took some time and I refocused. And after realizing that there was going to be a better way to reach more people, I came up with the whole podcasting thing. So it all kind of came full circle. Who knows? Maybe we could meet up and go on a hike. Maybe I, one day. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see where this goes. Anyway, so I do plan to have a few exciting guests that will share their stories of success and failures. In fact, I don't even see this my change as a failure. I see it as an evolution. It's evolving. So what I hope to learn and, you know, I hope that you guys will enjoy learning, too, how people share their stories. Yeah, you know, I, it would be nice to hear about their successes, their failures, how they stay inspired. What keeps them motivated? You know, what keeps people excited about life, focused? I think we can all learn from each other, whether you are teaching in a classroom, working with your hands. I mean, what keeps you doing what you do? Okay, yeah, yeah, a paycheck, I get that. But sometimes it's more than a paycheck. And that's the part that I want to explore. Hey, who knows? Who knows where this will go? You can't predict your outcome, right? So don't try. So with that said, this podcast is also filling a creative void for me. I've been working on a few scripts and that kind of helps too. The podcast also gives me a little bit of a satisfaction of control, (laughs) a little insight for me. I'm a creative, no denying it. So this is where I like to share a little bit more about me or my guest. You know, I like to play games. So this is a short series of questions that'll shed a little more light on who I am or who my guests are. And I'll explain that this is always optional. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable, but it could be fun. So get ready for Tracy Asks. Asking the question, what new discoveries did you uncover this week, month, or year? just this month alone, putting the finishing touches on the podcast, setting up the equipment, that's just been my, my biggest discovery. Oh, I mean, just elevating the mic off the desk. Oh, interesting. Having sound screens to absorb the sound. It's all been a learning curve. <laughs> it big discovery. Am I a dog or a cat person? Question number two. I am a cat person, but I do like dogs. I had a dog growing up. I've had cats growing up. But I think early on, I identified with cats. They're just independent. But dogs are great for company when you want to, again, go out hiking. Cats usually, sometimes they don't want to be bothered with you. <laughs> So the independence helps, but it leaves you alone. Hmm. All right, question number three. Cook or take out? I definitely am take out. I do not like to cook. I've never liked to cook. I used to struggle with that one. But now I don't. I admit it. No, no, thank you. Don't want to cook. Morning person or night? I am a morning person. I get up pretty easily, almost like with the sun. In fact, the sun shines on my face. I can't help but get up when the sun sun wakes me up. But it's easy. I jump up. I cannot last long at night. Coffee or tea? I'm more of a coffee, I think. I like coffee in the morning, but I like tea if I'm not feeling well. But mainly, meh, I look forward to my coffee in the morning introvert or extrovert. I tend to be more introvert, but I am okay 
meeting people, but I don't necessarily like crowds, like party scenes, and yeah, that drains me. And then I need to be alone. So I'm not really, really sure what you call that. I can cope, but I, I don't, I don't want to say I, it's social anxiety, because I don't have that, but I just prefer to be alone. Work best in group or alone? Again, I work best alone. <laughs> Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I guess that goes back to the whole morning thing. Now for the big question. The big game. The bonus points. Two truths and a lie. Have you guys played that before? It's exactly the way it sounds. I'm going to tell you two truths and one lie. And you have to guess the lie. And the answer will be revealed in the next episode. And I hope that you will send me an email if you can guess the correct answer. And then we'll figure that out what, what, what you win. <laughs> All right. So you ready? Settle in. Two truths and a lie. So you have to guess my lie. I drove cross country. And for those of you out of the United States, it's the United States. I have skydived and I've hiked 40 miles in one day. All right. So you have to guess which one of those is a lie. I also want to kind of close with an inspirational quote and this episode's quote will be from your true nature I like their products they have things like advice from a river advice today is going to be advice from a mountain reach for new heights rise above it all be uplifting get to the point and enjoy the view that's advice from a mountain. <laughs> this concludes today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Tell your friends. I welcome comments and suggestions too. In the end, life is marvelous. Go explore it. Your yogi venture is waiting. Special thanks to Arlax Acoustics. I love the Desk Max. Man, it's portable, it's lightweight, it is highly effective. Absorption is really helping with my sound quality. And it's perfect for my small space. I can put it away when I'm not using it. It fits my needs perfectly. Thank you, thank you. And another big thank you goes out to Ryan Hood for editing. You're making my life so much easier. So guys, take care and stay tuned for the next one. I hope you'll check back in. You guys have a great day. Stay curious and keep exploring. Until next time. <laughs>